UConn extends its streak of regular season wins to 24 games with an 82-33 win over Army. Bob Picozzi back at the XL Center in Hartford. Mel Thomas scored 19 points, including 15 of them on three-pointers. She's with Megan Kumo. Bob, thank you very much. Mel, a great game. You were, it looked like you were on fire. Do you like the noon tip better? The new one? The noon tip. Oh, yeah, I do, actually. I do. <laughs> Get it, it gets it over with early in the day. You don't have to wait around. Yeah, we don't have to do all the crazy things TV makes us do all day before the game. <laughs> we'll get into that later. Um, but, you know, we were joking the other night. You were tied with Jen Rosati with three-point field goals for your career. Now, was it out of respect that you didn't hit any on Saturday night? You waited to hit five today? Um, I wish I could say that, but I didn't even know how many I needed. Well, that's more the media's job to do that. But, I mean, offensively, you were on fire tonight. Were you honestly just feeling better and looking for your shot more? Yeah, it just felt better tonight. I mean, I've struggled in the past couple games a little bit, but I just want to come out and have a better swag tonight and, you know, get it up in the air, and it went in. All right. Well, now, defensively, we've been talking a lot on the air about you guys defensively just overwhelm teams. Do you guys work on defense a lot in practice? Oh, I think we put a lot, of, he puts a lot of emphasis on it, and when we mess up on defense, it's, you know, a big problem, but I think when we come out and put pressure on teams, it's hard for them to respond to it. Well, I, even like, let's say Saturday night, Hartford had seven points in the second half. Are you guys aware of that during the game, how overwhelming you guys are? Yeah, sometimes we'll try to be like, keep them under 30, or we'll set a certain goal to try to keep the other team under. All right, do you have any special... Uh New Year's resolutions that you can share with us? Um, I'm going to try to eat less candy and chocolate and stuff like that. <laughs> a little healthier. That's it. That's it. So it's yeah. not going to have as much fun in the New Year then, huh? No, no. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts. Yeah. We'll check back in with you later. Okay. Good Happy luck. New Year. Happy New Year, folks. Bob? All right, Megan, thank you very much. It's the ninth time in 11 games this year that UConn has held their opponents under 50 points. Mel Thomas with 19 points all in the first half, by the way. Five for eight from three-point range. She moved all alone into fourth place on the UConn career list with three-point field goals. Now is 212. Renee Montgomery scored 12. Maya Moore, 11 points, four rebounds. Tied her career high with six assists. Charday Houston, the season I-10. UConn shot 53%. Kara Enright led Army, but only with seven. And the Black Knights shot only 28%. They turned the ball over 24 times. So Army is now 6-6. Six and six. Next up for the Black Knights, a trip to Maryland Eastern Shore Thursday at 4. UConn is 11-0. The Huskies visit Villanova. Their Big East opener Thursday at 7 on CPTV. For Megan Kumo, I'm Bob Picozzi. Once again, the final, UConn 82, Army 33. The preceding has been a presentation of Connecticut Public Television. Reading Rainbow is next on CPTV. Happy New Year, everyone. CPTV thanks our team captain.